Temu is not particularly rich in terms of uh, smart home products. They have a lot of stuff, but not so much smart home. So when I was asked to you know, pick some new products for review, I thought, well, winter is coming. We tend to have more lights. Maybe the festive period is, is coming as well. So I'm just going to pick up some lights, like decorative lights. They are not going to be smart lights. And I managed to pick a couple of, uh, well, quite a few products. And uh, in today's video, I want to show you three things, which is more like the sort of like the decorative lights uh, for, you know, for walls or for a computer desk and that sort of stuff. And things that you probably have seen on um, like other YouTube videos or TikToks or, and uh, I think they tend to be like, you know, geared towards the younger generation. Although I like RGB lights as well. So who doesn't like an RGB light? So I was also intended to buy this for my kids and I've already uh, fixed them in their bedrooms. So the videos that you see are from their bedrooms, uh, which, is, which maybe in hindsight it was a mistake because I could have waited until Christmas, but I needed to make this video. So I needed to install them. So you still have a chance not to make this uh, you know, mistake. If you will like any of these products and you want to buy them, there is going to be like uh, purchasing links or affiliated links in the video description. And also if, you, if this is the first time that you want to use Timu, there is going to be like a sign up link as well in the, uh, in the video description. So three things that I wanted to show you. The first one is, um, is a, an RGB hexagonal light. So these are these hexagonal ties that you can just link them together and you have either a remote or you have a Bluetooth app that you can use to control different uh, you know, visual effects. And these are, these are, some, uh, these are like the Nanoleaf um, um, you know, tiles, but uh, they are obviously not that smart. They can only be controlled by a phone, like a Bluetooth app or a remote. I think the real Nanonic ones can, you know, uh, sync up to your home automation system as well. So this is more like things that you would control, you know, turn it on with a remote and you turn it off and you go to bed. But they have a lot of different uh, features, a lot of different light effects. And then even in every single effect, you, there is a, like a lot of customization uh, capability, like, or you like a particular effect, like how the, uh, you know, the colors transition or how they fade in or, you know, they come in from the side. But then you can still like uh, you know specify what colors to use. So if you like that effect, but you want it to uh, only be in specific colors, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of play that you can do, which my kids love. So that was uh, that was one big hit. So this was probably the most expensive one because it's RGB. A very similar product was uh, also like this hexagonal tile pack. So this is uh, the, the previous one was a ten pack. This is a six pack. They are virtually the same size and uh, the you know uh, fixing them is, is pretty much the same thing so you get these hexagonal packs and then you can just slot them together and put them onto the wall and in both cases you can uh, they provide like silicone pads you can just stick them on the wall so this is ideal for rental accommodation where you don't cannot you know fix anything permanently so you don't have to drill screws and anything like that they stick on the wall if they fall from the wall, I'm going to leave a, a, a pinned comment so you can see that. But they, I think they should hold. They are very, very lightweight stuff. So this white panel is, it doesn't have remote. It doesn't have every, anything. You just connect it and then you touch it and then you can just turn individual ties on and off. So you can like not wave, but you can just, uh, you know, move your hand around it, uh, sorry, on it and then it it turns everything on or turns everything off and they have a very decent light so it's uh, you know it's a good background light for a room even with these six ties so that was that was really cool and uh, the third product in this row is this uh, light bar which the one that I specifically purchased is discontinued but the very similar one so they uh, as you can see here there is like three of them they, which look exactly the same I would assume that the only difference is that they have a slightly different, you know, maybe they are taller or wider. So I also bought something which, as I said, looks exactly like one of these. So they come in two bars and they come with a remote and uh, USB powered. By the way, all of them are USB powered. None of them have a USB charger supplied. And this usually is like set besides monitors or TV screens. So my son has a, uh, um, 
like a desktop computer in his desk and he has a smaller i think it's a 21 or 22 inch screen and these light bars are exactly same height as the as the screen that he's using so actually i was using those uh, leftover silicone pads to fix it on the back of the wall uh, sorry on the back of the um, uh, of the monitor so it you know it doesn't create more mess in his desk uh, uh, you know it's not in the way it's easier to clean and then it just uh, illuminates that you know small space where the monitor sits in i think it gives a very good effect and i actually just plug it into the uh, desktop so whenever he uh, turns the uh, uh, computer on the, uh, the lights come on and when he finishes doing the computer and turns you know shuts it down then the lights go off so it's ideal you don't need any additional stuff and i just put a magnet on the remote because the backsplash of these desk is like a big you know, it's this IKEA desk has a metal base, so he can just stick the uh, remote if he wants to use that remote. But I think in most cases, it will just uh, be stuck on one specific light effect, and it will probably just stay down for you know a couple of weeks. Maybe he will change that. So these are the three products that I want to show you, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think they are simple. Uh, some of them are definitely more on the pricier side so especially the ones which has a lot of color changing capability so they don't exactly cost pennies but you get some more functionality and this is why i wanted to show i wanted to pick these color one as well and also wanted to pick the white one so you can tell the difference which one works best i mean they are for different purposes because you can really use this for background lights and the uh you know the color changing one is more for the uh, so for the ambient and also it really depends who likes you know flashing stuff or maybe if somebody prefers just a simple you know a single color that uh, can be easily controlled so let's do the unboxing so that's the uh, the normal light bar at least it comes in a branded box so you can see some french stuff there the specifications it looks like you can get different versions as well. It doesn't really say which one this is. But uh, yeah, so this has an energy rating of G. And it has all these features. Remote, color, voice control and party mode. So we'll see about that. <coughs> and I have to say it's uh, very decent sized. Uh, the construction feels fairly basic to be honest so these are just very thinny plastic stuff uh, and this uh, uh, reflector or diffuser that's also like just a very basic uh, white semi-transparent plastic with some sort of uh, pattern on the front so it creates a diffusion and we have a fairly good lengthy cable for this and uh so there's some stuff stuck into this and again yeah so you get the usb plug so everything is usb so i guess you can hook it up to your uh computer as well but i'm just going to plug it into my uh usb power supply which is down here okay so it is working already i guess this, these are some default colors I have to say the uh, it looks better in person than in the LED uh, in the uh, in the camera. So the the motion seems much more fluid and uh, uh, not like what you see here. And we have some very basic plastic feet. I would have liked if there is more weight to this because uh, literally there is none, and also there is no pads. Um, so it would be very easy for this to slide around but nevertheless it works it draws 3.5 watts at the moment which yeah and then you can just slot this in and uh, it sits upright nothing wrong with the with the overall design as i said there is literally no weight to this whole thing so uh it's very easy for this to slide around and there is a mounting option here on the side as well so okay, you can use it sideways as well uh, in landscape orientation yeah if i want to use this um i would probably want an 
I will probably go to the hardware store and buy some of these rubber feet, which is going to stick to the uh, uh, to any surface. But other than that, it looks. I think it looks fine. Yeah. And we also get a remote control. And I need to remove the battery tab. And yeah, it works. And I guess I can switch between different modes. CS, C1, C3. So again, you have a bunch of buttons and I need to learn what each of them do, but they basically cycle between colors and, and different patterns. But uh, yeah, I don't know where the infrared receiver is, probably somewhere inside, but I can easily control that. I have no issues with that. And oh yeah, I can slow it down as well and then make it go faster. The remote has a very funny smell, but uh, nothing and out of the extraordinary so far. Okay, and unboxing time. Uh, I like the box, to be honest. So you get six tires, you get uh, the usual thing, compliance, energy rating, and let's see what's in the box. Okay, so we get some documentation on how, how the various tiles connect to each other. So I'm not going to hook this up to power right now. So we got the thing in a couple of different languages. Yeah. And three more languages. And we got some sticky tape to stick it on the wall. I, I want to use this sticky tape option because, uh, well, I can move this around if I don't like it, if I don't like the placement. And of course you can, you know, rearrange the ties as well. But I think it's really good for uh, like rental options when you are not allowed to drill into the walls. So that's going to give you a nice um, alternative. So we get a fairly, oh, USB-A to USB-A cable. Non-standard, but hey-ho. I think the reason they are using USB-A because then you can use these connector pieces as well. And uh, they are also USB shaped. Uh, so yeah, you can just uh, put them together. So the only thing I'm not really sure if there is a, uh, if there is a master module, but I don't think that there is. So this is how each of the tile looks like. It's fairly thick to be honest, but um, let me just uh, unbox one more. Yeah, so they absolutely, they look absolutely identical. Uh, so I don't think there is a master tile and then obviously you have these USB connectors on all six sides and you can either use these connector pieces to link them together or you would use the uh, the lead to provide power and of course the connector pieces will pass power to every single other uh, hexagonal tiles and uh, you also have these small plugs that I guess will plug into these just to physically secure them. But um, yeah, looks good. Uh, these are fairly light, but I like the construction. So they are nicely molded pieces. The sides are shiny. Uh, these are also like very thin bezels and it looks like that they really fit nicely. So the, the molding and the finish is sort of what I would expect. It's not janky at all. It's, uh, you know, nice. And I think the the fact that they are light also helps because, um, uh, well, it's just to make sure that they stay on the wall with these sticky tapes. Actually, these are not sticky tapes. These are just uh, some, I think, self-adhesive pads. No, they are double-sided, yeah because you can peel this off and uh, oh, oh, I know this is the type of like silicon uh, switch sticks on the wall, but then you can just peel it off easily. So I don't want to mess with these. I'm probably going to use it in the final installation, but uh, yeah, so far looks nice. And the next box is again, a, just an unbranded white box with some energy rating and some documentation 
on the various voltages and ratings and stuff. Okay, so let's just unpack this. Okay, there's going to be loads here. Big U, oh Jesus, big infrared remote. Connector pieces. Oh, cable, which goes to the master tile. And then all the additional tiles. Okay, so let me unpack the master one. So it's just a long stretch of USB cable and it goes into the side like that and it says 5 volt 3 amp maximum. So just make sure that you use a beefy enough power supply for this apart from any USB port. Well 3 amp is not any USB port. But uh, yeah, let's not delve into the details. And by the way, if I just plug this in, yeah, it works. Well, this one is drawing 0.7 amps, but I don't think this is full power. And yes, this infrared remote is massive. Oh, look at this. But I do like the colors and everything. The silk screen on the, uh, uh, on the remote. Let me just remove the thing off. Yeah, on, works. And uh, rainbow. Wow. Okay, I have to play a lot more with this, but actually I also wanted to see if, I mean, it has definitely more LEDs than just one single because even this fade, if fading effect seem to have some sort of transition from, let's say, from one side to another. Um, it's uh, the, the camera doesn't really give justice, but it's a very nice and even color. Uh, but let me just stick it to a fixed color. Yeah, so it doesn't. Yeah. And by the way, you see this halo and, and you know, this coloration, that's only the camera. So it doesn't look like this in real life. And let me just unpack one more. Um, yeah, it's very easy. So obviously the v with these addressable LEDs, so they have this pre-installed connector, which means that, uh, I don't know if I can move this to any other position, but no, I think this is the input. So that is fixed. So you are a little bit less, more restrictive how you can place them. Uh, I don't think you would be able to create a, definitely not a loop, but then you can just maybe do a zigzag pattern like, and then fold it back and something like that. But again, looks nice. Uh, these individual hexes are very, very light. And uh, it has this dome shape on the diffuser. Uh, but other than that, it's again, a very nice construction. I do like the fit and finish. Um, yeah, very small bezels. There's no, you know, it's a nice molding. Uh, so the quality is good. And then on the separate box, we have again the self adhesive pads and we have some additional connectors and we also have these things which clip on the connector. I'm not really sure why do we need the additional connector because we only need one for each of them and they seem to be pre-installed on each of the units. So maybe these are just spares. And also you get a screwdriver, but why do you need a screwdriver? I think for normal installation, you don't need. And you have the self adhesive pads as well. Let's uh, look at the uh, instructions quickly. This is the separate EU instructions. So it comes in a couple of different languages. So you can see English, German, Spanish, French, Italian, and Japanese. So it's not European. And yeah, and then it talks about the app. 
and how you edit to an app and oh yeah and how you can define the patterns in the app so whatever um, effect you create is going to look great but it doesn't seem like that oh okay and it talks about the physical installation as well the installation of the hexagonal lights were, was you know very straightforward because you have these hexagonal tiles I just usually put them face down on the table and you just work out a pattern that you like you know you want one long one or you just want uh, you know maybe you can just group them together like a bigger circle uh, but you can really do any uh, shape for the white one the only thing that really matters is that every single light is connected to another one so uh, because you have to plug in the USB cable to one and then it's just basically going to route power to all the LEDs and for the uh, color one, the, uh, the pattern actually matters because most of the animation will start off from, let's say, the, uh, you know, the first style, which has the power cord, and then it would extend all the way to the end of the animation. So the way you hook them up, um, you know, one, uh, one tie to another, that's what's going to control the, uh, the flow of the animation. But actually, I haven't even explored the Bluetooth app, but I have seen that in the Bluetooth app, you can also you know configure the physical layout so if you want to change how this works then you can do that as well but all i have done is just link them together and then i just use the you know the default effects and they pretty much look i mean they look really really nice and you can't really tell that you know anything is off uh, in this in this configuration so the, the the hexagons seem to know who comes after each other so probably the that wiring, that linkage is, is also determines how the, the animation is going to go, is flowing from one um, tile to another. So in that respect, it's pretty smart. And then in both of the cases, they have these uh, pegs that you can link the edges together. The only thing I've noticed that uh, for one of the models, there were like only like uh, these three pegs where you know three hexagons joins and then you can just connect them with a three peg connector and obviously if you only have uh, only connect two hexagons next to each other then one of these peg is going to show uh, from the outside so i'm guessing that maybe if you have a preferred layout that you want to use long term maybe you can just uh, snip off that third peg so you don't see it from the uh, you know from the from the front i mean it's not that it makes a big difference but I mean visually it, it's going to be much cleaner and for the color LED again they have a mix of t these two and three pegs there were more of the three pack versions so again in my the way I laid it out which is more like a snake pattern I had again one of I, I had to use some of these three peg three legged pegs where you can see the third leg uh, from the outside but Again, maybe in the final version, I'm just going to snip them off if I don't need them anymore. And, you know, fixing it on a wall is just like, you know, removing that uh, adhesive, not adhesive tape, but silicone tape, and then just put it on the wall, press it lightly, and then it just stayed on. And of course, for these vertical bars, they have a stand, so you can just put them vertical, or you can also do them horizontal. But other than that, you just place them, you hook it up to USB, and that's it. The only thing I would say that on the USB cable, sort of the end of the USB cable, you have a couple of buttons and that's where the infrared remote and also the sound, the microphone is located. So if you want to use the infrared remote, make sure that that piece is available somewhere where the, uh, the infrared signal can reach from the remote. And also if you plan to use this music feature where the effects uh, respond to the music, then again it would be out where it can you know listen to the ambient music so i think that will be all for this review i think they are nice products uh, and you know based on how they perform so far the assembly and everything they appear to be really good quality as well so um you know i have no reservations about any of these products they seem to be working fine the light quality is good construction is decent that uh, provided uh, silicon pad is also keeps them on the wall uh, okay i installed them three days ago they haven't fallen out yet so i'm guessing they are going to stay on the wall and as usual if you interested on any of these products i'm going to have uh, purchasing links in the video description 
But I think that will be all for today. There will be one more video on the lights. Actually, I think two more video on the lights. But yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.